Dr. David Banner, physician, scientist, searching for a way to tap into the hidden strength that all humans have. Then, an accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry. And now, when David Banner grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. The creature is driven by rage and pursued by an investigative reporter. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. The creature is wanted for a murder he didn't commit. David Banner is believed to be dead, and he must let the world think he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. six blocks over. So, uh, you lived here long? Oh, I'm not complaining. I get six blocks away from the nearest grocery store and uh, my kids go to school in this neighborhood. Oh, well that's cool. My name's David, by the way. David. David Burner. Um, uh, yeah, I I'm Lisa. I think we're here, aren't we? Uh, oh yeah. It'll be 8 dollars 8 dollars just for going across town? Yep, that's the way it is. <sighs> Your money, I hope you choke on it. Have a nice day. <sighs> what a day. Oh, wait, what's this up here? Hey, kids! Kids, can you get out of the road? You calling kids, man? Yeah, like who are you calling man, man? Can you guys please move out of my way? This is this isn't cool. Yeah. Well, how about we rob you? Would that be very cool? Oh God, I knew this could happen. Why did I decide to choose this job? You really need to get off the car. You don't understand. Yeah, well, you really need to give me your money. Give us all your money. I don't think so. Yeah, well, I have a gun. Check this out. You get out of the car right now. No, I don't want to. No, you get out right now. No, I don't want to. No, you get out right now. I don't want to. You do it right now. I'm going to shoot you. Okay. Fellas, you're making a big mistake now. Now, I'm getting a little bit angry. And you guys wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Oh, wouldn't we now? Get over there in the corner. Ugh. In that corner. I don't want to get in the corner. You get in the corner. I don't want to get in the corner. You get in the corner. I don't want to get in the corner. You get in the corner right now. Okay. Give me your wallet. I don't have the money. The key is down at the cab stand. I can't just give it to you. Get in the cab, Charlie. See if he's lying. It's usually underneath the uh, glove compartment right below the seat. Okay. I wish could be your book of many years going on here. Now then, I know you got that key to that deposit box that's in there, because I know you do, because I used to be a cab driver. The key is on your key ring with the rest of your keys. So I'm going to give you the count of ten to drop the keys, or I'm going to pump your guts full of lead. Go for it. 
<laughs> what did you just say to me, Malvy Punk? I said, go for it then. All right, that's it. You are dead meat, Mr. Gee. Take this. You take this. No, I'm going to wrestle you. You better not wrestle me. I'm going to wrestle you a little bit. Because you're threatening my life. Shut up or you're going to die. I don't want to die. And I'm telling you, you are making me very angry. Yeah, well, you are making me angry, man. All I wanted was your wallet and all the money that was in your cab. But no! Mr. Uppity Up over here has got to get all stupid and start mapping off to me. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Stupid. I don't deal with guest criminals like yourself. You're the one that's a criminal, pal. I can't get it. It's not in there. I can't see it anywhere, boss. First of all, don't call me boss. I'm a street thug. First of all, grab him, will you? Oh, okay. I don't want to do this, I'm telling you. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to shake you a little bit. Ah, no. Since you're not going to cooperate, I'm going to shoot you. You better not. I will. No. Ah! No, you let go. No, you let go of me. You let go of that gun. You let go of me. You let go of that gun. Boss, should I do something? Yeah, jump in here, Johnny, anytime. Uh, ah, oh. Go with a gun. No, you let go with the. Oh! He ain't going nowhere. Come on, let's go. But we didn't get any money off that guy. Well, we'll get the next one. Oh, jeez, all that for nothing? are doing anything man let's get his cab and get the hell out of here yeah get the hell out of here oh my god oh god no what's he gonna do to us charlie i don't know john He just gently tilted us over. Wait a minute. No, he's not. What? Uh, no, no, don't touch me. Oh! Oh, man. Whoa. Bobby. Yeah, that's what uh, he said to, you know, the former guy. Oh, you mean Joey? Yeah, Joey. He had it coming, though, man. He couldn't keep, keep up with his fares. Hey, David. Yeah? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I heard you got robbed last night. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't pretty. So, how did you guys do? Well, we did okay. I mean, I did okay. I don't know about uh, the old man here. Hey, you don't worry about this old man. He know how to handle himself. Oh, that remind me. But the boss want to see you upstairs. 
Oh, I'm sure it has something to do with last night. Yeah, I mean, I heard the whole, like, this green creature came out and uh, toppled over your car. I thought you'd be in the hospital, man. No, I'm okay. Well, I guess I better get upstairs. Yeah, he's very angry. Well, he wouldn't want to make me angry, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, you better get up there. Guess so. No more can do no all wrong. They're stupid idiots that have fat heads and don't like to listen to nobody. You, uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Huh? Wanted to see me? Oh, yeah, David. Let me tell you. I heard about the news about your cab. Some green creature come by and flipped over your car and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, uh, about that. I, I apologize for that, sir. Well, we all get robbed from time to time, David, but the thing to remember is those cars are my cars, and you better thank your lucky stars that nothing bad happened to that car when it came out of your paycheck. More less more cars we get off the streets. The less money we make, the less money we make, the better I get. Now, get out there today and you make some money. Uh I wasn't on the day shift, sir. Well too bad, cause we're short of cabbies and I need you to drive a cab today. Okay, boss. Now remember any damage comes out of them cars, comes out of your paycheck. Yes, sir. Well, what are you waiting for? Time is money and money is time. Get down there and get to making some money. Yes, sir. Boss, what do you want me to do with this package? Shh. The new guy gone? Yeah, he's, uh, he's downstairs, sir. Good. I don't trust any of these new cab drivers. They're not in on what we're in on. It is incredibly dark up here, sir. We need some more lighting for this office. Don't you think I don't know that? Now, get out of here and take a cab out. We need more drugs. Okay, sir. I'll go down the fire pole. Don't go down that way, you idiot. Too late! Hi, guys. Uh, hey, George. I was just going out. Well, there's a cab coming in. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, David. Uh, is the boss upstairs? Yeah, he's not in a good mood. Well, he's going to be in a good mood when he sees this package. Say, don't you ever wonder what's in those packages? Yeah, but I don't want to know. I don't know. And if I don't know, then I don't know, you know? Yeah, I know. But don't you think it's going to lead you to... David, please. You ask too many questions. Sorry, I'm just a really inquisitive guy. Well, you better get your inquisitive butt out there on the road, or the boss ain't going to be too happy. He's already mad about you destroying his car. Uh, well, I didn't destroy it, but... All right, Dave. I'll see you later. I gotta get going. Okay. Uh, good Lord, you guys ever work? Eh, shut up. <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, there was this girl, right? She gets in the back of my cab. Wish me luck, guys. Uh, you sure you don't want one of my guns? No, no, no. I don't believe in guns. I'll be fine. Okay, man. So anyway, like I was saying, there's this girl. She gets in the back of my cab, and the next thing you know... streets of New York. When you need a cab, you whistle for a cab. It's busy, dirty, it's disgusting work, but somebody's got to do it.
Roxy. Yo, Cab. No. Clean Main, please. Division Street. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Mm, yeah, man. The tomatoes have really gone up in price. I've noticed that too. That's very good. What, what do you mean it's very good? Well, it's, it's good for the guy who sells the tomatoes. <laughs> Man, you're crazy. Hey, David. Don't you guys ever work? Ah, just got off a midnight shift. Getting some groceries and heading home. What about you? Ah, uh, the boss has got me on day shifts, so... I guess it's because of you guys he's got me on day shift. Yeah, he's shifting the shifts all around, so what are you going to do? you got to drive when you can drive and then take it when you can take it. Getting any good fares today so far? Uh, not really. Daytime is really slow. Huh, you think it'd be quite the opposite. Well, um, done with your shift maybe you could join us over at Huckleby's for uh, breakfast or something yeah Ugh, I might do that uh, hey guys hey David you need some help no I got it <coughs> ah! and sorry David here let me give you a hand Be careful with them packages Mike yeah uh, what was that poof there's white powder yeah, you might want to shake off your jacket. Oh, hey, Tony. Mike, you got to be more careful with those packages. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Tony. Hey, can I talk to you in private? Sure. Does it concern you that you're running drug deals for this guy? Look, David. Like I said, I don't know what's in them packages, and I don't really care. All I know is I'm picking up some extra money. I got a family to raise, you know? Yeah, I know that, but it's just... What is it, too immoral for you, David? Is that it? Look, man, this is a tough... These are tough times. Guy's got to do what he's got to do, so... The less I know about them packages, the better I'll feel. And don't go reporting this in to anybody either, because they're not going to believe you. And besides, the whole cab company will turn against you if they find out. And man, you don't even want to know what happened to some of the guys who uh, blew the whistle, so to speak. So just keep your mouth shut, okay? Don't worry, I'm not going to narc on anybody. I just... I'm concerned for your safety, that's all. Yeah, well, you got nothing to worry about, David. Alright, I've been doing this for a couple years now, so I think I'm good. Well, you do have a family, and Catherine's got a baby on the way and everything. Doesn't that bother you that you're not out making an honest living? I am making an honest living. Now, if you excuse me, I have some honest living making to do over here. <sighs> All right, then. But, uh, David, why are you hassling, Michael? Hey, I'm just, I'm just looking out for him, that's all. Yeah, well, don't look out for anyone. You just mind your own business, all right? Now, you want to go get some breakfast at Huckleby's? Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds good. Hey, wait a minute. Are you off work yet? Well, not really.
finally finished that shift. So I says to the guy, I says, all right, show me the diamonds. And he shows me actual freaking carrots. I thought he was talking about diamonds. <laughs> Man, that is a funny story. Oh, hey, it's Day Shift Guy. Hey, Day Shift Guy, what's going on? Well, hey, Frank, uh, what what's new? Hey, listen, there's an investigative reporter upstairs talking to the boss. Do you know anything about this? An investigative reporter? What's he look like? I don't know, like an investigative reporter. Uh, hey, I think I heard his name. Uh, e. Jack McGee or something like that. Oh, my God. Well, guys, I better get home. Hey, wait a minute. What's this investigative reporter doing here? I've been hearing chatter around the house that you, uh, you're, uh, you're kind of a talker. Oh, um, I don't know what you're talking about, Frank, but I need to get home. Yeah, well, you better watch who you're talking to and what you're talking about. Or, uh, me and uh, some of the boys might not let you go home, if you know what I mean. What, is that a threat? That's a promise. Whatever, Frank, I don't got time for this. Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't make me angry. Don't talk to me like that, Buster Brown. God dang, what did I do? All I did was just barely touch you. I'm tired. I drove all night last night, and now I've been driving all day today. I just want to go home and go to bed. Huh? Well, maybe you, uh, you keep running your mouth. You're going to be dead, you hear me? Dead! Oh, whatever. Is that guy a narc or something? Nah, he's all right. He just runs his mouth a little bit. Anyway, so I had these three broads out on the balcony, right? And the first broads is the second broad. Look, Mr. McGee, I can appreciate your situation, but I don't know nothing about no green monster or no, um, whatever else it is you just said to me when you first came in here. Now, I don't appreciate no reporters nosing their business around my cab stand. Now, just get the hell out of here, you understand? Now, wait a minute. Now... I have the feeling you know about this green monster because the green monster flipped over one of your cars. Yeah, well, that's just a rumor. Now get out of here. Now look, this monster's wanted for her murder. Yeah, well, I have nothing to do with it. There's also rumors about this cab stand being a front for a major drug company. Shut up. You talk too much. Get out of here. Get out of here now. Before I have you arrested for wrongful prosecution. Whatever. Goodbye. Yeah, tell the National Register to kiss my big fat white butt. Get out of here. You're going to regret this, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah? Well, you're going to regret ever seeing my big face. I'm already regretting it. Hey, sir. Wish you had stairs. Mm. Ah! Oh, God, that guy's a pain in my hiney. And I have a big hiney. David, we need to talk. Huh? What are you talking about? What is it? I'd kind of like to get home. Well, I've been hearing rumors about you. I don't like it. Uh, why is there a guy from the National Register here, a, a nosy reporter at that? Look, I have no idea. I think it's about that green creature guy. Green creature guy, huh? Yeah, well, you just better watch where you're putting your nose. You understand me? Well, maybe if you kept your nose clean. Hey, you tell me about my nose. You just keep your nose out of business. And you and I won't have any problems. You understand? Ah! Yeah. Alright then. You're lucky I gotta go on shift or you would be dealt with.
I think the boss was wanting to talk to you. Uh, not now. I gotta get home. The, okay. Anyway, I says to the guy, You guys keep a close eye on that David Ben, uh, David, uh, David Banton, uh, Banyan, the, that David guy. What's up, boss? I think he's on to us about our national little drug operation we got going on here. That reporter was not just after the green creature. He knew other things, too. I want you and uh, Louie here. Um, excuse me, my name is Todd. I don't care, I'm calling you Louie. Whatever. I want you guys to keep a sharp eye on him. And where's my other guy? Uh, he, he went ahead and took off, boss. Alright, I'll just keep in contact with him. But this David guy, he ain't gonna get far. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I... No, what, what do you mean, boss? You idiot! I'm talking about 86 of them, rubbing them out, killing him. Oh, yeah! Right there, Banta. Huh? What the? John, I got no beef with you. Shut up. I'm done messing with you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me three. Oh, great. You too, Frank? Yeah, me too. I'm gonna pound your teeth in. Oh, yeah? Look, guys, if I were you, I would back off of me. Yeah, well, we won't. Oh, crap. Now, you guys too. That's right, buddy. The boss wants you out of the picture, buddy. And when the boss wants you out of the picture, he wants you out of the picture. Look, you guys. I have you doing this to me. Well, too bad. Michael, give him a sock. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give him a sock, all right. Michael, don't do this. Yes, I do. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Boys, keep hammering on him, you betcha. Ugh! a dog pile. Ugh! Ugh! Yeah, pile on top of him. Warning you, don't do this. And I'm warning you, stay down, pal. All right. Kick him, punch him, hit him. What the hell? Will be enough, boys. Oh, no, 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 no. This Chinese guy, get him. Mr. McGill, stay out of this. No. David, get up. Run now. No. I'll help you. You cannot fight. Get him. Yeah, let's get him. You touch him, you shut up. Hey, I try to warn you. No more. Hey, yeah. Ooh. You're dead, old man. Uh, ooh. Leave him alone! Get him, will you? With pleasure! Oh! Pile him! Ah! Oh, little bit rusty. Oh! What the hell? Something's happening here. Yeah, I feel it too, boss. Yeah, me. Ah! Get out of here. I'll take care of this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do you understand? Go. Yeah, man, 
like she was hot. You don't even want to know how she paid for her fare. Ha <laughs> ha, I can imagine. Oh my god, man. What the hell is that thing? It's the creature, man. What creature? The green creature that was on the news. Ah, let's, let's get him. Uh, but just do it. Creature, you think you're so tough? <laughs> no, he's pretty big, Johnny. I wouldn't shut up. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, somebody freaking help me! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, uh. <laughs> Whoa! What are you doing? <laughs> No! No! Ah! Ooh! Put me down, big fella! Put me down, big fella! Huh? Put me down! Oh! Oh! What the hell? Gotta get out of here, huh? This creature is, uh, is, oh my god, here he comes! Ah! Johnny, no! Up here, you don't scare me, you freak! You're nothing to me! Nothing, I tell you! Yeah, you knocked over a desk. Big deal. I'm a big guy, too. Take this, tough guy. This tough guy. This tough guy. Oh, my God. No, no. Now back off of me! God, we're a mess. Dun 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 David, David, I have good news. Ah, uh, Mr. Chan, Mr. Ming Chan. Oh, sorry. I have very, very good news, David. Oh, oh yeah, well, what's that? I am the new Chef Stewart down at the Cabstan. Oh, man, that is so good. Yeah, they have arrested all those bad guys that were involved and even the boss man got arrested. Oh, yeah? Apparently, that investigative reporter was tipped off by a young man. I don't know who. Oh, I think I have a pretty good idea who. But anyway, you are more welcome to have job there. I don't think so, Mr. Chan. Uh, Ming Chan, I mean. I, uh... I'm kind of wanted by that investigative reporter, and I think I should be on my way. Ah, yes. We all have our burdens to carry. Well, good luck with yours, David Son. Thank you. Now, good luck with your new job. Yes, very excited. Okay, must go, must go. Yeah. Take care, Mr. Chan, Mr. Ming Chan. Oh yeah, Mr. Ming Chan. We'll do, David. You take care too. Hey, don't forget to write. No worry, I won't. Okay, okay. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Boy, what a nice guy.
Swift? No, I'm good. Hey, listen. I went back home thinking about what you said, having my conscious weighing heavy on my mind. I couldn't continue to deliver those drugs knowing that what price they they would have cost. Thank you for setting me straight. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad you found your path. Yeah. And uh, Maurice, the baby's on the way. And uh, I got a promotion. Hey, good deal, Michael. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you know about Mr. Ming-Chan. Yeah, yeah. Good fortune for everyone. So, uh, where are you headed? Maybe I can give you a lift. No, no, no. That's okay. I, uh, I don't have any money. Oh, come on. It would be on the house. Uh, besides, I, uh, probably headed way out of your way. Thinking about going back towards Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> You take care of yourself, Michael. And that family of yours. You got it, David. You too. Well, sayonara. I better uh, get. You know how it is. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Don't forget to write, David. I won't. <sighs> ah. All's well that ends. Well, uh, hey, we're on our way to stop a corrupt cab stand. They selling drugs under the table, if you know what I mean. You need a lift somewhere? Ah, uh, no thanks. I'll manage. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, because I pity the fool that want to riot for the A-Team. Hey, what? Never mind. You never heard me say that. All right, so long, sucker. Uh, okay. Says he don't want no ride, Murdoch. See, I told you. Oh, come on, Mr. T. My name is not Mr. T, sir. Why did you just call me by my real name? Oh, sorry. Want me to perform sock pocket puppets? And for you, just let me know, okay? We'll be in town. See ya. Uh, okay. Boy, those were some weird guys. Hey, you need a ride, stranger? Oh boy. Do 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 do. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.